How to narrate a PowerPoint 2011 presentation presented online by Alan Nadichu. We are going to cover five things over the course of this presentation. First thing we will cover is to finalize your presentation. Second thing we'll talk about is to set up an external microphone for recording. Third thing we'll cover is setting up your PowerPoint for recording. The fourth thing that we'll talk about is how to fix recording errors. And lastly, we'll talk about saving your presentation. Topic 1. Finalize PowerPoint. This is the easiest thing I will ask you. Is your PowerPoint presentation in its final draft? If the answer is no, keep working on it. You do not want to alter the content in your presentation once you started recording. You may alter the recording, the timing of the recording and such. To keep things simple, only narrate your PowerPoint presentation when you don't have to make any edits to it. If you plan on adding a voiceover to the presentation, you may want to break up your PowerPoint into smaller chunks for, easy, for easier viewing and listening. Topic 2. External Microphone If possible, do not, I repeat, do not use the built-in microphone. Use a plug-and-play USB microphone. Your audio will sound cleaner when you invest in a quality USB microphone. A good microphone will start about $40 and go up from there. Before we begin recording in PowerPoint, we need to make sure your computer's audio settings are good. The easiest way to adjust your audio settings is to click the Apple menu and then click System Preferences. Then click the Sound button. From here, you will click the Input tab and then select your microphone from the list. Then you will need to adjust the volume of your microphone. I like to leave it at about 75%, so if I raise my voice, it will not distort my audio. Play around with the slider and see what works best for you. Speak into your microphone and say a few things in your normal voice. Make sure the bar doesn't bounce all the way to the right-hand side. Topic 3. Set up PowerPoint for voiceover recording. It's actually very easy to record your PowerPoint presentation. When you are ready, when your presentation is in its final draft, and you have set up your microphone, do the following. Click the Slideshow tab. Then click the Record Slideshow button. You'll enter presentation mode. Take a look at the largest slide on the screen. That is the slide that you're currently in. To the right of that, there's a smaller slide. That tells you what slide will be coming up next in your presentation. If you look directly below the smaller slide, you'll see a timer with two different times. The time on the left tells you how long you've been speaking for that particular slide. The time on the right tells you how long you've been speaking throughout the entire PowerPoint presentation. Below the timer there are two large gray text boxes. The text box on the left is reserved for your notes. These are notes that you've entered into the PowerPoint presentation in the notes section before you went into your presentation. The box on the right is usually used for live PowerPoint presentations. It's a space where you can enter notes, remind yourself to change out a graphic or to answer a question later. And at the very bottom we see a bunch of little squares. If we needed to advance 10 slides into the future or 10 slides into the past, we can do that 
using those little squares. You can also advance throughout your presentation by using the spacebar, the right arrow or left arrow buttons. One thing I've noticed while recording PowerPoint presentations in this way is that you need to take a moment to pause, then advance to your next slide. Failure to do so may cause the last bit of what you said to be cut off. When you're done recording, need to take a break, or are done for the day, hit the escape key. This will take you out of recording mode. When you return from your slideshow, you'll see that you'll return to slide sorter view. Take a look under your slides. You'll see that the ones with the star and the time are the slides that got recorded. Something else happened to something else happened to. To see what happened, click the normal view button. The normal view button is located in the very corner the very left hand corner of the PowerPoint window. When you click the normal view button, you'll see your slide. In the lower right hand corner of the presentation, you'll see a speaker icon. The speaker icon will not appear in your presentation when you play back the slide in presentation mode. It's a visual reference letting you know that there's audio recorded to the slide. Topic four, fix errors. I stated this at the beginning and let me state it again. Do not record your slides until they are considered final draft. Editing your PowerPoint presentation can cause your recording to become misaligned with the recording timings and the recording itself. You can re-record your slides as many times as you need to. However, once you start editing your presentation because you forgot a bullet point or you need to change out a graphic, it could throw everything off. If you need to take a break, you need to put off the recording till later, or if you need to correct some really bad audio, you can do the recording as many times as you need to until you're satisfied. And it's very easy to fix your PowerPoint recording. In fact, it's just like recording your PowerPoint presentation. Go to the slide that you want to begin your recording and then set up like you would normally set up for a recording. And just like before, when you're done recording, even if you're done recording just that one slide, hit the escape key to get you out of presentation mode. The only slide affected by your recording will be those slides that you've recorded. Doesn't matter if you record one slide, 10 slides, or 100 slides. Topic five, saving and exporting. When you're done recording, you'll need to save your presentation. Save your presentation how you normally would save it. There's no special requirement to saving your PowerPoint presentation. Well, forgive me, there is one requirement. You do need to save your PowerPoint presentation in the new PowerPoint format, the PowerPoint format that ends in .pptx. You will lose a lot of features and animated elements in your presentation if you save in the old .ppt format. 